and then we were so close to the end zone and I fumbled. It, it was more of like it hurt me and it hurt it hurt me that I let the ball go for our big guys, you know, and all our all my other teammates and it just really hurt me. But I can't lose my I can't lose my composure like that. That's something Mike's talked about. You've grown in that area before. Is this another growing moment for you? Yes, sir. You think? Do you think? Patience. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. How about your patience? The first three games, when you carried it what, like 19 times, and then you get to this point. I mean, just sort of stepping up your your numbers called. Uh, it's just the beginning of the season. It was non-conference play, so I wasn't really worried about it too much. And then after that third game, you know, I had a I had a meeting with the coaches, and they just told me get ready to carry it more. It seemed like the first half was, was pretty physical, a lot, a lot of big hits down there. Is it rewarding that, that you continue to work through that? It, it seems like a, a, somebody's will is going to break at some point where they're not going to be ready for all these hits. Is that kind of how you see it? I mean, at the beginning, they were really physical. But as you look at it, towards the end of the games, we get even stronger together. And teams get really tired. So I feel like if we just keep working together like that, teams going to be able to hang with us to, towards the end of the game. Is that a mindset thing? What is that? I think it is a mindset thing. <laughs> Ali, you're the chance. You probably see all this stuff on social media. Coach Dundee said at West Virginia and tonight, it's just about remaining hungry and humble for you. How do you do that? I mean, like I said, when Sunday hits, last week's game's over. So tomorrow, this game will be over. Nobody's going to care what happened last week. So, and, you know, we got to prepare for the week coming up. What's it like when you take the leap into the into the crowd after the game? Struggled getting up there today. <laughs> <laughs> so I got up there and everybody's pushing forward and I almost fell off. But luckily, Coach Black Nick was there to put me back up there because I probably would fail. But it's it's a it's a great feeling, you know. Everybody, our crowd's been behind us for these last couple of weeks and they really just you know set it off the top whenever we just hit them chain for us. Does it make you feel good um, to have these type of games and opponents are watching film and they know that they have to prepare for you? Does that kind of make you feel good that going into a game that they're, you know? Yes, man, it makes me feel good because if they game plan to stop the run, then we have great receivers, great receivers on the perimeter that will make plays. As you see, Leon Johnson, five receptions, 150. That, that's insane. That's crazy. How many, how many flowers you got there? Is that over a dozen? Yeah. I can't even count. I can't even count. I don't know. I got to ask them. What's color? That's for the Oh, I don't know. Who are they from? <laughs> my mom and my aunt. Okay. Is it 75 yards the last one? Is that kind of a will break for you? Breaking that will to set? Because you outran us a lot. So good 40, you need 50 yards. You have three or four guys chasing. Is that kind of breaking that will? I feel like, yeah, it just, you know, puts a dagger in. And by then, it's fourth quarter. Team's ready to quit. And after that drive, they went ahead and subbed everybody out. Did you blow the kiss to the palm squad or the camera? Ah, yeah. <laughs> no comment, <got> you. <laughs> Shortly after that, you popped up on the big screen right in front of all your offensive linemen. It looked like you were trying to get them a little bit of uh, of love. Was that the case over there? It was definitely the case. You know, they don't get they don't get to carry the ball, so they don't really get the recognition they need. And without them, none of this would be possible. So I try to give them as much recognition as I can. Oh, you guys are in a five-way tie now for first place in the Big 12. How does that feel? I feel, I feel it's, it, it's great because when you look back at the beginning of the season, people probably think, oh, Oklahoma State's out the, out the race, out the run. And I just feel like we just keep working harder each week and just keep upsetting people. Ollie, how different does this month feel compared to last month? Uh, it's real great. You know, the team chemistry, the team bonding, everything's just getting better and better. And as we grow closer to each other, nobody can stop us. How much crazier has your social life gotten in the last month? Oh. Doing the interviews, you're, you're <laughs> in the spotlight now. Uh, I, I'm just going to say I gained a bunch of followers on Instagram. What do you think of all the Ollie chants? Nick Martin is our last What do you think player? of all the Ollie chants? That happened in pregame, happened in last night at homecoming hoops? What, what's that like? Uh, it's just, it's great, honestly, whenever you, you know, the whole school's behind you and behind your team, and it's just, it's just a great thing to hear.